Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I'm answering a subscriber's question about how to shorten your front rise on a pair of pants that are, you know, ready to wear or that you've made um, when the front rise is too long so the front crotch curve is hanging down too low and it creates sort of a baggy look in the front of your pants. There is a pretty simple solution to the problem, so let's dive right in. I have a pair of pants here, and I just want to show you the first thing you want to do when you're wearing your pants, pinch out the amount of excess you have. So while you're wearing them, take some pins and just pin at the center front the amount that is loose or baggy. So like in this case, let's pretend I could pinch out this amount here, okay? And then, you know, look in the mirror and see, you know, what that does for your, you know, for the look of your, the front of your pants. And if that seems to be the right amount, great. If not, play with it. Take a minute and, you know, just check it out in the mirror and make sure that you're pinching out the amount that you need to remove from your front rise. It's important to pinch it down low because if you pinch up here, you're going to be lowering your waist, not picking up the curve. So make sure you're pinching like at the base of the zipper seam allowance, for example, or the base of where the fly is. That's a good place to pinch. Um, and then just, you know, make note of how much you pinched. The next step is we are actually going to take apart the crotch um, and a fun fact, and I've talked about this before, this little ball on a seam ripper, that's there to protect the fabric from getting sliced. So instead of doing what seems like the right thing, sticking your seam ripper in this way, put it in this way and you can easily um, take apart your seam just by dragging it along. Um, and you can see here, that came apart really easy. So. I'm just going to take it apart about maybe five or six inches from the from the crotch seam on each side. So let me do it on this side too. All right. Okay, so now I've got that apart. So your next step is you're going to measure how much you pinched. And so what I'd like to do is I like to measure from the pin to the fold, that's three-eighths of an inch in this case. So that means I have to shorten the, the front rise three-quarters of an inch because if I unpinned it, it would be double. Okay, and just to drive that point home, all right, so just to, just to show you what I mean, I'm just going to mark where I pinned here on either side. I'm going to take the pin out so you can see that unfolded, that's three quarters of an inch. All right, so I'm going to measure three quarters of an inch like this, and I'm going to draw a line. Okay, and then I'm going to blend back to zero and just very easily you want to be as gradual as possible, so I'm just going to start coming in until I reach my, um, you know, the original edge. So something like that. Okay, and then you want to do that on the other side as well. So I'm just going to... you know, blend back to zero or back to the original edge. Now, if the fabric along your upper thigh is loose too, you could bring this down a little bit lower, like to your knee. Okay, so if the legs are fitting fine and you just need to shorten here, bring it back to zero as quickly as you can um, in a gradual way. But if you have extra room on your inner thighs around your upper leg, you could bring it down a little bit longer and that will take get rid of some of the fabric there as well. So after you do that, the next step is I'm going to turn this inside out, my pants, 
and I'm going to pin it back together. Now I recommend testing this before you cut off the amount, you know, before you cut on the line. I'm going to take a piece of, a small piece of Wonder Tape. This stuff is amazing because it washes out. And I'm just going to stick it right on the, you know, center front crotch seam. So when I line up the back one, it's going to stick in place and there's no way it's not going to be even. Because when we sew this together, we really want the front and back crotch seams to match. Because that would make me crazy if they didn't. We're going to pin the back inseam so it's lining up with the line that I drew along the front inseam. So basically what I'm doing is I'm offsetting the seam, meaning the seam, the seam allowances are not even. I'm offsetting the front to pull out that extra. And I'm blending back to the original seam, you know, as, as soon as I can gradually. Okay, so that's how it looks. So now the next step is we're just going to sew this back together. All right, so I'm going to start by um, lining up my needle with the original inseam. And then I'm just going to use a really big stitch because if it doesn't work or it's not exactly correct, I can easily take it out and reposition it. So I'm just going to sew on my original seam allowance on the back and you can see I can actually see my needle marks from my from my original seam here I'm just going to be careful and take the pins out as I go Again, I'm just going to keep going on the other side until I reach my original seam right here. All right, let's see how it looks. I'm going to turn it right side out. All right, see how perfectly my um, front and back crotch seams match because I used that Wonder Tape? Makes it very easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to try these on. And if the front rise now is nice and smooth, then you're good to go. You can go back in and sew it a little bit, you know, sew it permanently with a little bit of a shorter stitch. And then um, trim off the extra and finish it on your serger. Or if you don't have a serger, you could use a three-step zigzag on your sewing machine to um, hold the seam allowances together because you don't want to lose the seam allowances in the wash if it's a woven fabric. So you either need to use a three thread um, stitch on your serger to finish the cut edges of the front, or just use your three step zigzag on your sewing machine. That does a really nice job of keeping the seam allowances intact. All right, so that's how you shorten the rise on a pair of ready to wear pants, or you can use this technique to fine tune the fit of your pants that you're making, you know, that you're sewing for yourself as well. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you're enjoying Fit Tip Tuesday, maybe consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And speaking of other videos, I am also doing live Fab Fit Friday on my channel at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And that's a fun event where you can come and just, you know, join me live and see what I'm working on. So I just want to share my process and tips and tricks for whatever it is that's on my work table. So it's always something different and it's always lots of fun. So consider joining me for Fab Fit Friday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you again soon.